Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at longitudinal and snapshot studies and this is for the OCR A-level psychology specification. Snapshot studies. In a snapshot uh, design, different groups of people are tested at the same point in time and their results are compared. For example, Bandura et al. 1961, uh, in their study on the transmission of aggression, used this um, snapshot, snapshot design. The advantages of this type of study is that they are relatively quick and inexpensive to carry out and can be easily replicated to test the reliability of the findings and are relatively easy to modify. In a longitudinal study, the participants are studied over a long period of time and the researcher usually takes periodic samples of behaviour. The advantage of this design is that it allows us to track development and enables us to monitor changes over time. For example, Freud's study on little hands, uh, as hands were studied from the age of three years old to five years old. This design allows for a reduction in participant variables as the same people are studied over a relatively long period of time. Thank you for watching that really short presentation on um, longitudinal and snapshot studies and I hope you made some notes as I went along. But thank you for watching.